and welcome to Design Tips. We have not seen each other for two weeks, so it's time for another episode. In the last episode, we have covered basic sketch symbols, so it's, not, it's time to have a look on something slightly more advanced. You will cover that today. It might be slightly more longer, but let's jump directly into that. So today we are going to have a look how symbols can actually help you to design your design systems, right? So on my screen, you can actually see template I'm using most of the times to create basic design systems for the products, for the clients, etc. So I all the time start by determining the colors, right? So let's do that. So let's just choose the colors we are actually going to use in our product. Let's just choose red, green, blue. You'll probably need white. You also probably need to like something dark and some shade of gray. Excellent. So it seems that we have like our colors selected. Those colors are going to be used all over the place. So what we should do, we should create the symbols. So let's go here. Let's uh, create the symbol from this. Boom. Let's name it colors slash red. Boom. Another symbol is going to be colors slash green. Another symbol is going to be colors slash blue. Excellent. Another one. As you guess, colors, oops, colors slash fight. Awesome. Another one, colors slash black. And another one, create colors slash gray. Awesome. Great. And now, whenever I will need to create new component or I will create illustration, whatever, on the new artboard, what I can do, I can just go here and I can insert my color palette directly here, right? And I can keep my colors consistent. And when I change the colors here, like let's say that I don't like this red, right? I just wanna make it more oranges. It's also going to create, it's also going to be changed here. And that's super awesome and it allows you to have really consistent results when it comes to colors. That's the first usage. Now we have our colors ready, we can move on into the UI components. So here we have example of the button. Let's just put here some text, right? Let's just call it button. Let's center this out. So we have that in the middle, great. Let's group it and let's create a symbol. Awesome, let's just put here UI, buttons and regular, boom. Let's open this symbol up. And here you can say, oh, this is not having colors. Well, you will get there. So first of all, let's replace this with uh, replace with color and let's say blue. Scale this up to the size you need to scale it. Let's fix this text again. Let's center this out. Awesome. Then what I'm actually going to do, you'll take this color, we will duplicate this and uh, we will change this slightly. You will change it to more light blue. You will call this hover. You will duplicate this again. We will make this darker. Well, we can make this one darker. And we will call it uh, click. You will do this one more time and it's going to be actually gray color. Awesome. Now let's have a look on the results. So we have the button here. You might say, well, nothing interesting. But here in the overrides, you have something really cool. So you have here all your colors. So you can actually change the states of the button really easily. You can even make it green, you can make it orange, you can make it white, etc. That's pretty awesome. And this one allows you to be super consistent with your results. But here you can actually see the problem. What is if the button is white or if you need to just change the text? Well, I will show you additional hack. So what you can do is that like you can open up this text and you can actually create symbol within the symbol from this text. Let's say it's going to be called UI text and it's going to be called 18 point. Awesome. Let's open this guy up. We have it here. Awesome. Let's duplicate this. Let's change it to, let's say black, and let's say that it's going to be called black, 
and this is going to be called Pinty Fight. Awesome. Now let's get back. And here what we can do, there's like one more thing. And that's actually, you can change the color of the font too within the symbols. So as you can see, this allows you to be super flexible with your buttons, with your whatever. This will allow you to be flexible and also very faster. As you can see, this was created in seconds and you can do pretty magical things with it. Awesome. Now we can actually do something even slightly more cool. So let's have a look on this button. Let's open, let's copy these two, let's copy these two icons. So actually no, actually let's create the symbols from this icon. So here, let's create a symbol. It's going to be called UI icon and it's going to be called down. Awesome. Let's do the same stuff for this one. Create symbol. It's going to be UI icon and like. Awesome. Let's open this up. As you can see, boom, boom. Awesome. Let's actually change the name of this because it needs to be similar. And what we can do is that we can take this and we can place it over our button, right? And what we can do, we will actually probably need to change the color of this to white, just for the sake of presentation. And here, again, we are going to have something cool. Well, this should be here, but I am really bad when it comes to the, this stuff. So we need to actually go down, boom, and we have icon here. Awesome, excellent, let's go back. And here you can see there's another override and you can actually put here drop downs, none, whatever you need to. But this allows you to be really flexible, right? Look at this, you can create, you can change colors, you can change fonts and you can change the icons within the seconds. And the beauty of this is that when you actually change it in the, in the symbols, it's just going to change everywhere. So you just change the things once and you don't need to do it all over the place. And that's super awesome, right? That's super handy. So let's continue here. Awesome. So now we can literally easily create this style guide, right? So let's just remove this icon. Let's just uh, duplicate this. Boom. And boom. Awesome. You will change the state of this. So you will just go to hover. And here we are going to we are going to do click. Boom. Awesome. Here we actually need to replace this. We will replace it with UI buttons. Awesome. And we are going to again duplicate this. Boom. Just three times. Boom. And we are going to change just color. Hover. Boom. And we are going to change another one to click. Awesome. And here we are going to do the same stuff with the uh, with, uh, like icon. So we will just, here we will just change the icon really easily. Boom. Without any hustle. I will show you one more additional trick and that's how to make outline buttons because that's sometimes really problematic. So let's pretend that we need to create new button it's going to be outline button, right? It's going to be very like uh, similar to this, right? The only only one thing we need to do is create new color, and that's going to be really easy. So let's change this. Let's put here borders. Let's just put there some random borders like this. Boom. Let's go back to style guide, and let's say that we need fill, and it's actually going to be this one because I named it in correctly. So let's get back and let's actually change the name of this so it's not confusing. It's going to be called gray outline. Awesome. Let's get back to the style guide. Let's change it everywhere. Boom. Boom. And now we actually need to change the color of the fonts. And look, you have outline button. 
That's super awesome. And what you can actually do is that you can even go one level further and you can actually duplicate this and you can actually also create like a hover state. So you can just like go here, create like sub to fill or you just go here, let's say gray outline, uh, hover and then let's duplicate this and we will call this one uh, just, you know, we will call this one click. Okay, awesome, boom, you go back, go here, you change the color, you change it to hover, boom, and you go here and you change it to click. And with this, you have been able to, within the seconds, create outline buttons within the symbols, right? So this would allow you to be more consistent, more flexible, etc. That's pretty handy. You might ask what will happen if you would need to have create button with a different shape. Well, there is like a bit more work for you. So let's have a look on that. Let's duplicate this guy. Let's put it up here. Boom. And let's pretend that we need to just make this blue button like, you know, like a bill. So what you need to do, you need to go here. You need to open up this color, right? And you actually need to go and say that this color, let's duplicate this, this color is actually going to have, it's actually going to be circle, right? Let's rename it to pill. And let's have a look what this will actually do for us. So here we have the button, still same, but if you go here and say pill, boom, you have the pill button. Right, so whenever you will need to create pill buttons or buttons with rounded cor more more rounded corners, you actually need to duplicate your colors in the symbols right here in order to achieve that effect. It's a bit of more it's a bit more work, but you can actually reuse these pills later. You will actually have a look on that right now. So you can also with this approach create let's say radio button. So here we are actually going to create the radio button. It's going to be really simple. It's going to be radio button like this, with the white circle in the middle. Let's put there a bit of the shadow so it looks slightly more cool, you know? And then let's actually group this and let's create a symbol. It's going to be symbol, UI, uh, radio, and it's going to be called active. Awesome, let's open this up. And let's replace this, this circle on the back. Let's replace it fit fit the color. Color UI blue pill. Oh, that's huge. You actually need to resize that. Okay, awesome. And then let's get back. Let's get to the actual design. Right? Style guide. Boom. And here you have your radio button. That's awesome. Right? And what you can actually do is that you can open this radio button in, you can create another symbol within the symbol. Create symbol, UI, it's going to be called radio, you will call it dot, boom, you'll open this guy up. And with this approach, you can actually go back and you can actually remove this on and off, right? So this allows you to be, again, more flexible. And you can apply here same stuff with the colors like for the like we have done for the buttons. So here, if you actually change this blue pill, let's say that you know you change it to blue pill, let's say that you will change it just for the sake of presentation to red, just for example. You can go here, you can go blue pill, you can change it to red, and it's red, right? You can change without the dot, etc. And you can apply this to every single UI component. And this will allow you, and this will also create for you, really like more consistent user interfaces and will also speed up your workflow because as you can see, we've spent just like few minutes building this out, but this will be super beneficial for you when you'll be building, building new screens, or like flexible interfaces, etc. So I really hope that this will be handy for you. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching and don't forget if you have any additional sketch tips put them in the comments below so other people can actually see them.
And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm releasing new episodes every two weeks and you don't want to miss that. Ha <laughs> ha.